Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Riz me in the fucking comments. Call me a fucking sellout or whatever the fuck. Make fun of me in the comments for making a, a clearly clickbait video. Oh, oh, they're not even gonna, th they're not even gonna burn it. They're not even serious. They're not even, they're probably not even gonna leave. And yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna do any of that stuff. Um, I, it's, I can't believe I'm having to fucking come out here in the morning, sit out with my fucking, well, one of my fucking, one of my heads in a fucking grill, making a fucking, a uh, clickbaity uh, thumbnail for a fucking video, cause I wanna make a video, cause I just have all these fucking thoughts, cause I had like a real fucking, real reflection of character, and just like, I wouldn't say like, like, uh, like a wake up moment, or whatever that kind of bullshit is, but it's kind of, I guess, that's, you know, to put it into words, I, I just woke up one day and I'm just like, why do I fucking do this shit anymore? Why do I donate to charities? Why do I fucking get, give a shit about the welfare of animals and children and the fucking queer and poor and and all those fucking ethnic groups that are really, really fucking going through a hard time right now? You know, not just not just all ethnic groups that are experiencing like immediate uh, fucking marginalization in our country i mean like everyone every ethnic community of every skin tone and every fucking inclination age race occupation religious belief suffering and while this is going on we're fucking dancing around in fucking literal fucking mascot animal fucking costumes and pretending that war and politics and fucking all that uh, and and uh social uh fucking social ethics and fucking uh social actual real fucking social justice doesn't fucking exist and we could live in our la la fantasy land in in furry town and and ooh, ooh i don't want to get poopomatic i don't want to get I don't want to get canceled. And it's just like the, it, the fandom as a whole has gotten so politically correct that it fosters an environment for coddling actually degenerate, fucked up fucking people who have bad intentions. Whether they started out that way or they ended up that way, they had fucking bad fucking intentions and they besmirched our community with their vile actions. And when I see people like fucking Sappho, Caro, Growly, all those fucking like horrible, horrible fucking people. If you don't know who I'm talking about, don't look it up. You'll, you'll have a good day. Your day will still be good if you're starting your day watching this video. If you're watching this at night, don't ruin your fucking night by looking these people up. They're awful. Unless you like that shit, then go ahead. So... I just, I see these people and there's a, just a new horrible fucking look at this guy. He touched a dog or look at this guy. He shoved a fish up another guy's ass or look at this guy. He fucking uh, made a discord server for a Minecraft RPG with a bunch of miners and whoopsie. He groomed one and... Also, whoopsie, he fucking made uh, really irresponsible financial decisions, including getting, like, spending thousands of dollars on a fursuit when he can barely pay rent and afford bills and da-da-da. Like, that... Like, it's just no shortage of these disheartening stories of per person after person becoming this techno-pilled fucking plugged it uh, perpetually plugged in fucking uh, uh, what's it what did the kids call it today with the brain rot they got the brain rot and it just they just make fucking life miserable for everyone else who wants to enjoy something and i don't even mean 
like specific to furry culture and shit like you know the funny tweening videos with the funny cats going back and forth and left and right and whatever and you know this is this is jasmine rebecca dark fire and she has the most tragic backstory ever and also can breathe fire and and fucking has 11 wings you know like <clears throat> whatever like i'm talking about things that weren't originally furry that were furry jason that got ruined, like Crash Bandicoot, Sly Cooper, Spyro the Dragon, any kind of existing property with anthropomorphic cartoon characters, you know, funny talking cartoon animals, they get fucking perverted. They get fucking perverted by these fucking twisted weirdos. And it's not enough that they have to fucking do this shit in the privacy of their own home and fucking just stay home jerking it to weird shit in private. They gotta, they gotta fucking unabashedly, like, like they're fucking proud of their degeneracy or something, fucking parade that shit through the streets wearing a he-go shirts and, and fucking, um, talking about their waifu and carrying fucking pillows and shit around. And other people and fucking children out in public have to fucking see that shit. Like, I don't, I don't want to continue to live in a world that this is the normal and we should just ignore this and keep going about our day and only focus on our, on ourselves and our own happiness and our own peace. Because the more we do that, the more we give spaces for actual horrible people to continue doing horrible things. And, you know, I'm going to use this fucking gorilla as a confessional booth and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come out and say, I'm a fucking degenerate and I did some degenerate shit. I, I did some things, but you know what? That's the old me. I'm turning a new, a new leaf as of today and I'm giving away this fursuit for free and I'm not even going to sens- sensationalize it. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to set it down with a free sign at an event. It's going to be nice and clean. Um, it, well, it already is. <laughs> it's just kind of old because these are like, pff, I don't know. I, I got this back in 2017. It's old. But, um, yeah, you know, I'll just sit them somewhere on a, ch- on a fucking table with a free sign. And whoever has them and can enjoy them and will appreciate them will fucking, you know, uh, they'll get more enjoyment out of him than I am because I perverted this poor generic shark to be a character where I was going to criticize. I was going to be a fucking, what did I call myself? I'm going to be a discount pyro cynical and I'm going to make social commentary and I'm going to make satire content and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And I didn't do any of that. I just fucking ended up fucking doom scrolling and becoming bitter until I got my other costumes that you will probably see in the other videos but like fucking it it's gone to the point where like every time I look at him I see my fucking failings I see who I used to be as a person just a very very like like really bastardized version of everything I fucking hate about myself and that's not that's not right not just to me, but also to him, because he literally didn't fucking do anything. He just existed, and I fucking bought him from Walmart. So, yeah, I'm officially fucking done with uh, the trying to fucking hop on the trends and do funny, satirical, social commentary, comedy shit, and I'm just gonna just openly fucking criticize everything wrong with... Uh, fucking fandom culture and society at large and you know if people come with their fucking complaints and their insults and uh, death threats and uh, suicide baits okay you know if you want to do that to me because I want to actually fucking do something instead of keep complaining over and over about how things are shit and how Nothing seems to be changing for the better. I'm going to fucking actually 
get off my lazy ass and and do what I keep saying I'm going to do and make this fandom great again. Shout out. Um, I know this is kind of unrelated, but um, shout out. Because, uh, you know, it was a Golden Girls anniversary a show anniversary recently. They released a box DVD, and I am a huge fan of Betty White. Long live Betty White. She was a huge influential figure. She was a renaissance woman. She literally fucking lived through two world wars and fucking lived to fuck jokey about it. Like, she outlived all her fucking friends. And it was just the most uh, sweetest, crass lady ever. She's hilarious. She's she's a gift. And just shout out to my shout out to my girl the queen. Long live the real queen, Betty White. Lizzie, move over. You know, pass a crown to the real queen. Okay. So that's my time. That and fucking um I'm gonna make sure that I'm being held to this so it's not just like Oh, uh, fucking, j- j- uh, fucking y- YouTuber, uh, fucking nobody YouTuber makes, a uh, uh, fucking clickbaity, oh my gosh, uh, YouTube video for attention and then does nothing. No, I'm actually, I'm actually gonna fucking do shit. I'm gonna continue doing the shit that I'm, that I was already doing that I thought what, w- that was helping, which was like donating to, um, actual credible funds to help children, animals, and, you know, general people in need, um, and housing and shit, because, you know, um, fucking people being polyamorous to fucking afford rent (laughs) in this day, we being, we, we, uh, using fucking relationships like survival tactics out here, (laughs) I want to help these people, so, yeah, um, I mean, take it as you want. I know it's kind of like out of pocket and out of nowhere, but I just, I don't know, I'm just tired of looking at this thing and seeing this every day and, like, seeing what could have been, you know? Okay. Uh, See you later.